Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and welcome, uh, fellows. One of the, <clears throat> the things that I, I own a small business uh, in Moline, Illinois. It's just a small S corporation. And uh, one of the things that um, right now we're, uh, we're really hurting because, of course, the, the, uh, the disposable cash with the high gas prices, of course, which we're, we're trying to get under control. But one of the questions I have is that do you believe that, um, that, that more regulation uh, and then higher taxes will help hold uh, American companies here, or would that be an incentive for them to move outside of the United States? To me? Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously, it, it's a disincentive for investment here. Uh, our view, and let me contrast between large and small companies, because um, on both the tax issue and the regulatory issue, but we have a global um, economic uh, competition that's going on. The main thing that uh, we would look at as a large company is a level playing field. And so I think trying to look for ways that, uh, as I mentioned, 75 percent of our revenue is, is exported into other markets. So our comp competition is coming largely from Taiwan or Korea or Japan or places like that that may have more favorable tax treatment. But it is even more important for the small business. And uh, if you look at the amount of money they can reinvest into research and development, reinvest into hiring and expanding operations, that really will have a very long-term return on investment. And, and so providing that assistance is critical. On the regulatory question, if you look at something like Sarbanes-Oxley, uh, I certainly understand why we need to protect investors, especially with companies as large as Intel. But as a percentage of overall revenue, the administrative cost for small business to comply with Sarbanes-Oxley is a crippling cost and, again, takes away from investment in innovation and job creation. So looking at the regulatory framework um, and maybe contrasting the difference for, for large versus small businesses would be helpful. Very good. Uh, Mr. McDowell, this is kind of tied in the same thing. In your written testimony, you say that lack of awareness of available tax credits rather than high tax rates may be the problem for small firms. According to the NFIB, high tax rates are a problem because they s siphon off capital that entrepreneurs need to invest back into their companies to create jobs. And, and I can relate to this firsthand because right now our, our uh, taxes in, in our city, in Moline, Illinois, continue to go up and then the business is constantly dropping. Um, and you know, one of the problems is we have some equipment that needs to be replaced. And, and instead of being able to replace equipment, uh, we can't and we're having to let you know, people go. So it, it's kind of a, it's a tough situation here. Um, basically, how, how do you respond to something like that, sir? I am not saying that the tax, tax rates aren't, aren't high for small business. I am saying that uh, oftentimes, if we look at the trends over years, that the taxes, you know, whether they have been up or down, it it's always seems to be the number one problem for small business. That is what I am not trying to deviate from that. But I am saying that what we are seeing today is that uh, as more and more uh, t tax credits or, or different, different ways of, of even uh, organizing your business are, are developed, um, too many small businesses aren't taking advantage of the credits that are available to them. So I'm not trying to impl imply that the tax taxes aren't high and, and burdens them for business at all. Uh, it's just oftentimes that there's too many things that are missed. And there's actually um, uh, firms now that go out and specialize in going to small businesses such as yours and saying, look, I, you know, we will do what we can to save you business and we'll charge you a percentage of those tax savings as, as our fee. Um, but again, the, the uncertainty uh, uh, for most businesses whether or not it's going to be beneficial to them to explore different advantages or, or disadvantages with that, it can be difficult. So. Okay, very good. I appreciate that. I yield back my time, sir. 